Hello, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to the Cake Radio Show. I'm Cake Dive, and I hope you guys are doing well. It certainly has been a minute, but, you know, life happens. A lot of life things and changes have happened to me lately, and I have had to take a little bit of a step back. I've also been busy working on videos for my other channels, DCN Ticket and the Cake Dive channel. You can check out those most recent videos where I, on ZCN Ticket, I announced that I'm launching a film club and the first pick will be Blink Twice and the Cake Dive channel where I released the remix to my iconic top 10 hottest Minecraft mobs video. But today, I am not talking about any of that. I'm here to talk about Ice Spice's new album, Y2K. It's been a week since it's been out. And originally, I was not going to do an episode on it because I already kind of had an expectation or a feeling, not an expectation, but I had a feeling that I was not going to be big on it. And I felt like it was not going to be the move, really. Um, But I've sat down, I've listened to the album multiple times, as as I usually do. You know how I do my music reviews if you followed me up to this point. But I have my thoughts, and I feel like I have a lot of things to discuss about the album, the rollout, and just Ice Spice in general, and how people are feeling about her. So let's start with the music, which is the most important thing here. So the music is not great, but what I say, it's absolutely horrible for her as an artist, not necessarily. Um... I think that with the album, which first of all, I can give her props because it's a short album. And one of the things that I've complained about with rap albums is I feel like with a lot of the albums have been really rough in terms of rap, they're often too long. And I get that that is from, you know, the era of like mixtapes where people were just throwing like mixtapes and in, in like older albums where, you know, artists were just kind of throwing every, any track on there to like make sure that people had as much access to their discography as possible. So I'm like aware of that. But with this new era of artists and with the streaming era of music and how music quality has definitely kind of gone on a decline with a lot of artists over time, I think that we are now at the point where obviously quality is better than quantity. So you could have a long album. I mean, even outside of rap, you could have a long album. Look at Cowboy Carter, for instance, um, where an album is long, but still very strong. And you could have a fairly short album like, hmm let's say dopamine is fairly short you know fairly short fairly sweet album but fairly consistent and strong overall and i think that a lot of the newer rap girls have done a good job with not even the newer rap girls because a lot of these girls have been in the game for a minute but a lot of the girls who like have been dominating the rap rap this year have done a fairly good job having short or short or shorter albums that are still very high quality Megan's self-titled album was really strong and that consistently through like from start to finish and the album is just under an hour um I know JT City Cinderella album which I personally liked um that's at 40 minutes so that's fair that's shorter than Megan's and still very consistent even though I was mixed certain halves of the album and I felt like certain parts of the album was stronger than others I still thought overall it was still a good album um however it kind of stops with ice spice night y2k it's the shortest album like the shortest rap album i've listened to in a minute actually how long was everything everything by glorilla that i take the hmm uh yeah it's still the shortest album because everything everything was 33 minutes i y2k my Ice Spice is 23 minutes. It's a 10 song album, which is fairly short, but still is an album. And it has the songs Fat Butt, Oh Sh by Ice Spice and Trav- featuring Travis Scott, Popa, Bitch I'm Packin' with Ghana, Plenty Sun, Did It First with Central C, 
BB Bell, thank you to shit for give me a light and TTYL. I'm going to go track by track and talk about what I liked and what I didn't like, but it's going to be fairly consistent as I guide you through this. Fat Butt, I liked slightly more with listening listening with the whole album, but I still did not like the track. I feel like it is a... It's an okay intro for an Ice Spice album, especially since the album bounces between kind of two different visions. Um, But I feel like the flow that she had wasn't... I don't know. Like, I feel like the flow and just, like, the verses were not that strong. And obviously, that's not surprising with Ice Spice. But, like, I feel like even for Ice Spice, the it just wasn't it wasn't eaten like it usually does um the travis scott song oh sh- was rough purely because ice spice's verse on that was really weak in comparison to travis scott's and even then i feel like travis wasn't even trying on the feature which was very crazy for me pulpa i actually like pulpa and like it's a cute simple like hard rap verse like this was kind of one of the songs in which like when she's going for a harder rap sound i kind of can like rock with it and it's still very silly for ice spice because like i love the like pita like damn your lois griffin type you know flow that she has for like the end of the song in which she's just like eat that cat call the pita like it's just kind of like hilarious to me and i just like think the song is cute um, bitch, I'm packing with Ghana. I actually hate it. Like that is one of my like least favorite tracks off this album, and which like really shocked me because like Ghana's feature on this is actually horrible. And I know that like a lot of people nowadays are kind of like mixed on Ghana for a variety of reasons, but for me personally, I don't think that Ghana's bad, and I think that Ghana is fairly stable when it comes to features like he is fairly consistent when he comes when he does features especially with like the r&b and rap girlies and like because i remember he did you know his collab with his feature with flo millie on her recent album which i really liked i remember she did i remember he did a feature for normani's dopamine album 159 and as y'all know if y'all listened to my normani episodes i'm on 159 truther like y'all don't t- y'all don't get this on like i do but this verse from him is probably one of the worst i've heard like from a feature of his like ever really and it really shocked me but like and even then like ice spices verse was okay but it like did not like, it didn't pick up the slack from what Gunna, like, faltered with here. And I think that that was a problem. With, like, features, either y'all both gotta be strong, y'all both gotta go strong, or someone has to, like... I feel like the lead, whoever is, like, the main person on the song for whatever album or project this is, should be the one eating up the feature, personally. Like, I feel like the moment that, like, a feature... The, f- the featured artist eats you, the lead artist, up, Sometimes it can be funny, cute, but, like, oftentimes that's a problem. Plenty Sun is forgettable. I've, like, listened to... Again, I've listened to the album multiple times, but I literally don't... I I have no thoughts on Plenty Sun because it's just kind of there. Did It First is one of my favorites off the album, and I think that that's largely just because it is a song that goes back to the older, like... Not even older, because, again, Ice Spice is fairly new. And that's something I want to get into, but it is a, it goes back to kind of the sound that she was known for blowing up with like Munch and like the like era EP, the like EP era, I mean, um, and Central C's verse on the, like his feature is all right. All right. (laughs) Um, I don't think that I have, like, I don't really don't have any notes. Like it's a cute song and I would, you know. I'll go back and re-listen to it. BB Bell is, huh? You know, it's cute. I don't think that I'm big on it. Like, I feel like a lot of people like really like people either really like that song. Like, I Spice fans really like BB Bell, 
And, like, those who, like, hate Ice Spice hate BB Bell. And I feel like I'm kind of, like, in the middle. Like, I'm not big on it because it's not that great of a song, especially for Ice Spice's discography. But, like, it's not horrible. And considering, like, how the rest of the album has been, it's fairly fine. Like, I, I could take it or leave it. Um, That fart song, I hate it. Like, I'm sorry. I li- I. I can't stand listening to it like it's just a really stupid song like even for ice spice it's just like a really stupid song and also the fact that it's like a lot of this song it's just corny like no give me a light i remember not feeling give me a light when i like did a previous episode on ice spice and feeling like oh i don't know like this is just like like she's trying to do this harder rap thing and it's just not cute but listening to the album it's grown on me like, how about the beat? Like, give me a light. Like, it's very, <laughs> it's, like, fairly straightforward. It's a cute song. And I think that with the harder rap sound that she was trying to go for and, like, experiment with with this album, this was one of the few songs where it kind of worked. Um, And then TTYL, I actually kind of liked the song. Like, it was not a bad song. Overall, I'm mixed on the album, but I kind of, like, I'm leaning to, like, okay, I, like, overall, it sounds like I'm mixed on the album, but I lean more po- ne- negative than positive. Because, like, there are still... And I th- Like, I think for, like, a lot of albums, there are fairly few albums that I've listened to this year that I feel like consistently from top to bottom was just horrible. And I feel like the biggest... The most recent example that I could think of was when my friend Jeannie... Shout out to my girl Jeannie. Uh, follow her at Jeannie Box. Sat my ass down and made me listen to that shitty ass Kid Cudi album that he dropped this year. And like literally from start to bottom, it was awful. And I was shocked at how awful it was. Like I know Kid Cudi is not not that great of an artist, but I was shocked at how awful it was because he had a Pharrell Williams feature on the album. And usually Pharrell Williams as a featured artist and as lead artist is fairly consistent and stable. And it just felt like he didn't even try. Like, it was just a horrible album start to finish. And with Ice Spice here, I feel like... I I'm, I gotta get into it. I feel like a lot of people... Like, there's two things that are right at the same time. There are a lot of people who are going really hard at Ice Spice and are really trying to drag her for a mirage of reasons. One, she's benefited from colorism. And there are a lot of, like, people, especially, like, black men and women who are really, like, on the hunt for her to, I get, like, for some reason, I get, like, they really want her to acknowledge that she's, like, benefiting from colorism, and she has made it clear in several occasions that she does not understand colorism and how it benefits her and even leads to, like, color talking points at times. Um... So, pe- like, there, well, people already feel a way about her because of that, and because he's she's made it so far with such a little time. Um, and there's also the angry barbs who are mad at her now because of the text messages that got leaked by that like storm girl, who I really don't want to talk about much. But like, at the end of the day, I don't think that that situation was that serious. Um, I feel like it was like literally like I feel like. Barb's are trying to go at her because they're like, oh, like she was talking bad about Nikki. And if you talk bad about Nikki and you just some other girl, like you just trying to turn on her. Like, I feel like it really wasn't even that bad. Like, I feel like people like Barb's are cutting up like they don't be shading people privately in their friend groups and stuff on a regular basis. Like it really it wasn't even that shade or anything. Like she was just like upset with the situation and was like venting to someone who she thought was her friend at the time. And I feel like everybody has done that like nobody who is on social media who is on twitter who is listening to artists like this and having conversations in the way that people on social media are having conversations have not talked to, have not you know have not not talked about their friends behind their back like they've done it they've done that shit so i'm not i'm not too sure why like the barbs are cutting well i know why the barbs are cutting up but i don't know why they're making it such a big deal because, at the, and again, she in her interview with Billboard recently, I Spice actually, like, addressed those texts and was like, oh, like, it was just me being, like, frustrated about things and venting to my friend, 
like I still have love for Nikki and still respect her. And I feel like that plus that photo of her and Cardi B coming out um, was like the icing on the cake for Barb's. Like she had like Ice Spice has not been someone very similar to Megan Thee Stallion where she has been open. She, you know, in the past has been open to working with both artists like Ice Spice just wanted to pop off like she and she at first was presenting herself as a girl's girl so she had photos with Cardi B and she had given love to Cardi B and Cardi B was allegedly going was was at one point interested in being on the remix for Munch um and then the the Variety Affair I think it was Variety Fair the like Met Gala or Oscar Met Gala look was that Met Gala or Grammys uh oh, I think it was Grammys. Grammys, the Grammys after party that she was at. Um, like they have shown love to each other in the past, as much as as much as Ice Spice is dissing um, Cardi on this album. Uh, they there was still there was still love there, and with Nicki, like she's always been like a Nicki fan and has shown love to Nicki, and even when she was showing love to Nicki, the barbs were giving her issue, being like. Oh, like, this is not genuine. Like, you're just trying to do this because you're just trying to get Nikki to choose you. Da, 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 da. And then when Nikki actually chose her, which, I'm going to be honest, was kind of out of spite because she wanted a, she wanted to pick a rap girl who she knew was kind of up and up and didn't have to do too much to push, to be honest. Like, I feel like if she really cared about the talent, she would have worked on, um, she would have picked JT. Honestly, and now look like now the barbs are actually questioning Nikki because she turned and shaded uh, Nikki turned and shaded JT when she dropped City Cinderella and and JT has never done any has never really. Well, she shaded Nikki in the past with that one song, but there's but like she was holding on to that for a minute. Nikki was holding on to that for a minute. And now the barbs are kind of seeing and understanding what the public has known with all the rap girls that she's been interacting with. Um, and I feel, but again, like, I feel like the barbs are giving Ice Spice a lot for that when it wasn't, when, in, like, it, it's really not that serious of a situation. Um, and, but, and then there's also the crowd of, like, men and, like, just people in general who just, like, hate the fact that she is making this, like, really stupid, silly music and... And when I say stupid, it's not, like, in a negative light. It's just the, what is what they're saying. Um, and are like, oh, like, she is, like, popping off. Like, she, like they're saying that they're doing this kind of gotcha thing, which is, like, oh, like, I'm going to get at you as much as possible. And when you, like, flop, like, I'm going to use it as a gotcha moment because I feel like you should, like, you don't deserve to have these these things. Um, it's fair to understand that the, that crowd exists and not put too much weight in that. Because I feel like they're wrong at the end of the day. And also acknowledge that this album is not good. Like, this album's not good. I feel like Ice Spice shouldn't have rushed and gave us a debut album just yet. I feel like, because again, she's still a fairly brand new artist. Like, she only had a couple of songs, you know, a couple of Lucy's before she had Munch. And then, you know, she did the Like EP and then we just went straight to the album. Like, I feel like she should have given us some, like, more EPs, some more, like, some more mixed... She should have given us some mixtape, honestly. Like, I feel like she should have done a... Gaunt, like, I feel like since she said that she wants to be here for a long time, she should have, like, developed herself more as an artist, where once we got to the debut album, this album, this body of work that we would have gotten is, like, a more, um, consistent and, like, confident piece of work from her. I feel like this album is, like, even though she's, like, bigging her up and it makes her, it like, she's presenting herself as confident, I don't feel like the album itself is confident in itself, if that makes sense. I feel like the experiments between some of the older, like, slower softer voice songs that she's done in the past um especially with like the like era ep with the like ep i keep saying like era ep the like ep and 
what she has with the other half of the album, which is like a harder rap sound, is the softer songs feel like they don't feel like they're going as hard. Like It seems like she doesn't really want to do that anymore. It just doesn't seem like that. Like, even though, even though that, like, her, the audience that she has grew, like, they knew her and enjoyed her music for the softer sound. And then she's prioritizing this harder rap music that's, like, shading Cardi B and Lotto mostly. It's not really working. And it's like, I feel like she also just doesn't have this room to be shading these girls. Because again, one that I feel like that wasn't her brand. As much as she seems to has reveal, as much as she seem, has seemed to reveal herself as more of a mean girl than like a girl's girl, I feel like her brand and what really worked for her during the like era, up until like the transitional period with like Deluxe, was that people saw her as a girl's girl. People saw her as someone who liked everybody, was room for everybody, and was making cute, fun music to play. You know, like cute summer jams and stuff like that, and the harder rap stuff. With the exception of certain songs, again, like "Give Me a Light," the and like maybe "BB Belt," those are like beyond that. The other songs just don't really fit what people knew Ice Spice for and liked Ice Spice for when she first started popping off and when she first started dominating like the last year or so. Um, and I think that that obviously has impacted her. I mean, I just saw. Their tweets come up because the barbs are like doing gut like the barbs and the haters of her and the critique critics of her are doing like a gotcha moment, um and like the stands are feeling the Ice Spice fans the Munchkins are feeling some type of way that like the album is targeting a top forty debut, and Megan did higher and the girls were trying to drag Megan, uh I think. Did City Cinderella do higher? I think City Cinderella might have done lower. Actually, let me pull. I, again, I don't follow the charts, but I was I, I only pay attention to the charts when the girls bring up the charts like that. Um, City Cinderella did twenty was at debut at twenty seven, so it was it still was in the twenties. Um, and that's girl, how many that like twenty six k units sold? So. Like, the girls are kind of shaking up. First of all, I think we also have to talk about the fact that, like, these the units just in general have not been... Like, people were trying to drag Megan because they're like, oh, like, she debuted number three, and I'm just not doing well. Like, oh, like, it was like, what, 60K units sold or whatever? I think people... The stands are forgetting the fact that just, like, people aren't really buying or, like, buying this music. Like, you, like the units aren't selling just in general, it seems, for these artists. Like, not even just the newer artists, but just artists in general. Like, people just aren't buying music like that. The streams are just the thing now, unfortunately. Um, So, I feel like people are... I think that we have to have a conversation on do charts really matter? And if you ask me, I would say not necessarily. Um, But I will say it it, it does help give a nice indicator for, like, your previous discography. So, like, it it was interesting... it, I think it's important when looking at like a per, an artist's discography and being like, oh, like the cause like what I did with the Jennifer Lopez episode, and being like, oh, like these tracks or these albums performed this well, but this is me now performed worse than most of these albums, stuff like that. And with Ice Spice, this this album is debuting lower than the like EP did when it came out. Um, it seems unless it has a bump and it ends up in the twenties um on the chart but who knows the and like people are using it trying to already use this as a gotcha moment but i feel like at the end of the day top 40 is still a pretty good debut for a debut album i think that you know that's still like as long as you debut in the top 100 like i feel like that is fairly good for a good like debut album because there's a lot of music out here that people are listening to and again people aren't buying music like that so you know However, the units equate with the streams and all that type of stuff, you know, as long as you like if you if the charts really matter to you, I think as long as you debut within the top 100 and sometimes even the top 200, depending on genre or artist and like if you're an independent artist and stuff like there's a lot of variables. And again, I feel like there's a bigger conversation that needs to be had there. But I think that, you know, the debut once we end up getting the chart statement, like I think it will be fine. 
Ice Spice will still be fine. I mean, she's going to be on tour soon. And it seems like the tour is probably going to do well. She's doing, she's kind of strategically doing it in smaller venues, which I think is smart, again, because she's a newer artist. Um, and yeah, I think that's really it. Like, I think, like, she's going to be fine. As much as the haters and stuff are going to critique her, like, I feel like she'll come back or just kind of pull what Lotto does for a good minute and just do like singles for a minute before she gives us another album or another EP or another mixtape or something like that. Um, and maybe she'll keep experimenting then. I'm not against her experimenting, but I think that as a debut album, this probably shouldn't have been the move. Um, but you know, I don't want to like i'm not gonna bash ice space because again like i think that there's still some like she's very clearly an artist who is trying to stay he like stay in the rel in relevance and she said that she's here for a long time not a short time and while i don't see necessarily see that with that with this album because she's a, well she's i can kind of see it with this album because again she's trying to experiment she's kind of doing the stuff that she's known for as well um, even and even if it doesn't work, like she still is fairly new in the game, and we don't have that much room through his her discography to really look at to be like, oh, like she's not like like she's not getting in stuff like that or whatever. Now I I'm still gonna hold my critiques in her performances. I still think she struggles as a performance artist, but um, uh, like on stage and stuff like that. But that being said, I think that with the music, she still has a lot of time to grow. As much as people are, like, pretending that she doesn't. Um, and, you know, I wish nothing for the best. I'm going... Also, she need to drop them poop jokes. Like, she keeps doing them poop jokes. And, like, everybody talked about the poop jokes. But I'm, I tried avoiding it up until this point. But maybe stop the poop jokes. Because, like, people... Like, uh, people aren't big on that. Like, that's kind of strange to me. At some point, it's getting weird. Um, but... I think that outside of that and outside of how I felt on this album, I still think that she's going to be fine. Um, if I had to get this album a rating, mm, probably a, I'll give it a hmm, 2.5 out of 5. No, let me do 10 because I know I used to do 10 ratings. Let me do... Uh, hmm. I'll do a 4.5 out of 10. I think that it's not that great of an album, and I think that it's a step down from the like EP. But I think that she was trying to be experimental, and I'm not against experimental, like being experimental as an artist, especially if you're still fairly new. Um, But the album just wasn't, like, I wasn't big on it. I think that there have just been better rap albums out here this year. Um... But yeah, 4.5 out of 10. I wish her nothing but the best. Uh, that's all I can do for you, sister. But that has been it for me. As I'm the Cake Dive, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Cake Radio Show. Drop in the comments on YouTube and on Spotify if you enjoyed this episode. And what are your thoughts on I Spice's new album? Have you streamed it? Are you choosing not to stream it? You know, how do you feel about these poop jokes? How do you feel about the harder rap sound and the softer rap sound? Like, how do you feel about all these things? How do you feel about the drama and stuff that ha has happened with her, too? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Um, everybody's welcome. Be cordial with my thoughts on that and stuff on that. I, I love having, you know, honest and real conversations. So let's just tap in. But that has been it for me. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel at Cake Radio Show or subscribe to your, on your favorite podcast platforms with The Cake Radio Show. And be sure to turn on your notifications, subscribe or follow, and like and share with your friends. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.